there are more complicated forms of astigmatism, such as mixed astigmatism. Can you just give us a definition of mixed astigmatism? Yes, yeah, so mixed astigmatism is when you have a greater amount of cylinder magnitude than sphere, and that the sphere and cylinder are of opposite sign. So optically, in cases of mixed astigmatism, there are two focal planes. One's in front of the retina, and one's behind the retina. Unlike hyperopic or myopic astigmatism, where the focal planes lie either both in front of or both behind the retina. How do you go about treating mixed astigmatism? So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because you need to look at previous treatments. So you look at all your plano cylindrical myopic treatments and you look at all your plano cylindrical hyperopic treatments to see how much coupling effect you have had individually. And then you combine both of them into your paradigm for mixed astigmatism, keeping in mind that you have a plano cylindrical myopic component of the mixed, you have a plano cylindrical component of the hyperopic component of the mixed, but importantly you have no spherical treatment. And the idea of having no spherical treatment, you don't really need to have a spherical treatment. So if you just want to move these two images, one in front of the retina and one from behind the retina, then you want to move them onto the retina by differing amounts to get it to the retinal plane. So therefore you don't need to have a spherical treatment and this reduces the amount of ablation treatment that you need to have for any treatment that's a mixed astigmatism. Can you give us a simple explanation of why that separate coupling adjustment for myopic and hyperopic cylinder needs to be done? Well the adjustment is done for a very good reason and it's done for those two differing amounts to be able to determine how do you get this image onto the retina from one being in front of, being the myopic, and one from behind the retina, being the hyperopic, without this spherical treatment. So it goes back to high school type of calculations. When you have two trains travelling in opposite directions from different places at different speeds, but you want them both those trains to arrive at the same station at the same time at the same place. It's kind of a good analogy of the complexity of those trains like the complexity of mixed astigmatism treatments, one being minus and the other one being plus. Mm -hmm.